for you. It can be legs are crossed, half lotus, full lotus, whatever is in your practice. <clears throat> and as you move into that comfortable seat to start your practice, really bring yourself into this space. Close down your eyes. Connect in with your body. Connect in with your breath. Noticing where that breath is today. Is it high up in the lungs or is it nice and low in the diaphragm in the belly? Is it short and shallow or deep and long? And wherever it is, begin to bring it down into the diaphragm. Begin to deepen that breath, to connect to that breath and to allow that breath to bring you into this present moment, this beautiful moment that we have together. And continuing to utilize that deep, steady breath as we move through our practice today. And on your next inhale, <clears throat> inhale, lift that spine up a little bit taller, lifting the shoulders up towards the ears. And on the exhale, roll them down the back so that heart is nice and open. And on your inhale, inhale those hands to your heart center. And take a moment to set an intention for your practice today. Most likely you're creating the intention in the mind. So bring it down into your heart, into your body. Know it as the truth of who you are right now. Not someday you will do this, one day you will be this. Right now, you always have that choice. This is your life, your practice. And very gently bowing down to that God being that lives within you, within all beings and all things. A deep honoring and a recognition of who you are, who we all are. Returning to center, releasing those hands to the knees, and then let's just start with some movement to our spine. So leading with the heart, as we extend forward, you can go to the left or the right. You get to choose your speed, your size circle here. But just allow the heart to be the guide. So as we move into the upper back, use that heart to pull back. As we extend forward, lead with that heart. I think this is the missing piece in the world today. We've forgotten how to lead with our hearts. We let the mind take the lead. And the mind can be quite limiting. So we're gonna utilize that heart today in our practice. And we're gonna let it guide us as we bring movement. And then we're gonna switch directions. Stay with that deep, steady breath that we cultivated. And 
One more full circle. And then on your inhale, inhale back up to a nice tall spine. Let's take that left hand, set it to the earth on the left side of us. And on an inhale, inhale that right arm up to the sky. Stay here for the exhale. Inhale, lift up a little bit taller, finding more length. Exhale, extending out to the left side. Really root that right sit bone down. Press that left hand into the earth. That's going to really root that sit bone and reach through those right fingertips. Open the shoulder here nice and wide. Breathe into the right side of your body. And as you breathe here, check back in with that intention. And notice how when we bring movement into our body, we often lose focus on how we want to show up, on who we are. So the more that we practice this on the mat, the easier it gets off the mat. One more breath here. And on your inhale, engage the core. We're going to inhale both arms to the sky. Lengthen tall. Exhale the right hand. Stay for the inhale. Oh, <laughs> lift for the inhale. Sorry. Exhale, extending over to the other side. Press that right hand in the mat. Root that left sit bone. Roll the shoulder open here. Breathe into your side body. A few full breaths here. Deep and steady. One more. Then your inhale engages the core as we lift back up to the sky. Exhale, twisting to the left side. That right hand palm facing out on the knee to keep the shoulder nice and open here. Your next inhale when it comes is going to inhale, lift that spine up even taller. And on the exhale, engage the core as we twist it a little bit deeper. You can turn the gaze over the back shoulder, but nothing aggressive on the neck. And a few breaths here into the spine. Deep and full breath. One more breath. And then your inhale engages the core as we inhale both arms back to the sky at center. Exhale, twisting to the other side. Palm facing out again. Your next inhale lifts the spine nice and tall. And the exhale engages the core as we twist in deeper. Really stay with the deep breath. Recognizing that that breath is what keeps us in the present moment. When we focus on our breath, the mind stays quiet. So if you notice the mind chattering, return to that breath. Bring yourself back to the present. One more inhale. One more exhale. And then inhale both those arms to the sky at center. Palms to touch on the exhale as we pull the hands to the heart. Close the eyes. Feel into the energy that's already beginning to circulate in the body. Feel into the sensations. Feel into the movement. Feel into that life force that is moving throughout your body, your being. Breathe into this. One more breath. Exhale, releasing the palms, and we're going to come into a tabletop position. So those fingers are spread nice and wide, rooted under their shoulders. Those knees are under the hips, hip width distance. And we're going to just do a little bit of work here on the glutes. <clears throat> 
So I want you to shift the weight over into the right knee here. And on an inhale, we're gonna inhale that left leg up. We're gonna keep the knee bent, flexing the foot. And we're gonna try to get that knee in line with the hip here. Just a few breaths here, waking up those legs. Make sure we're not dropping down into the shoulders. We're nice and lifted and supported here. Steady breath. And then we're gonna build a little more heat. We're gonna just do three little pumps here with that foot. Use those muscles. And then exhale, releasing that knee down. Inhale that right leg up now, same thing. Flexing the foot, bending the knee. Breathing here, do your best to keep that knee in line with the hips. So not too high here, not too low. Steady breath, press those palms into the mat. Keep that, those shoulders engaged and lifted. And then three little pulses. One, two, three. Releasing that knee down. Take the knees wide, big toes to touch. For just a few breaths, rest back into that wide-legged child's pose. Extend the arms out in front of you. Release the forehead to the mat. Let everything go here. Child's pose is one of the most humbling poses that we get to practice. An opportunity to really bow down. So taking a moment here, before we start to really build the heat in our practice, to bow down to a space of gratitude inside of your heart, inside of your being. Gratitude for this beautiful life that we get to live, this beautiful body that carries us into our world, into our life and allows us to make that unique impact that each one of us is meant to bring to this planet. So breathe into that heart space. One more breath. And then that next inhale shifts the weight forward onto the palms. Tuck those toes. Lift those sit bones up high into a downward facing dog here. Really press the hands into the mat as if we're pressing the mat away. So we're lengthening that spine backwards. We never want to have the, shoulder, the weight in the shoulders here. Full line of energy through the spine. Then we're going to activate those legs. And on an inhale, very subtly, we're going to inhale, lift the sit bones to the sky. And on the exhale, we're going to extend the calves to the earth. So those legs are nice and active here. And then really root down into this downward facing dog. Stay with the breath. A few breaths here. Be in the moment. Two more breaths, nice and steady. And then we're gonna shift the gaze towards the hands at the front of the mat as we walk those feet forward. Releasing into a forward fold here. Gentle bend in the back of the knees. Those arms can hang heavy. You can bring hands to opposite elbows if you want. Or if you want to add a shoulder opener, you can clasp the hands at the small of the back. Let them fall over the head here. Whatever feels right for you, your body, your practice. A few breaths. And then exhale, wherever those hands are, release them back to the earth. On your inhale, halfway lift, extend out the crown of the head, stay for the exhale, roll the shoulders down, flat back hip, full line of energy. One more breath. And then that next exhale, release this down. Inhale, rise all the way to the sky, nice flat back. Exhale, gentle back extension, shift the hips forward. 
Inhale to center. Exhale, close the hands, bring the palms to touch, slowly lower those hands back to the heart. Feel that sensation, feel that movement. Breathe here, re-embody that intention. And blink those eyes open. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, lean with the heart, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release, root those palms on the mat, send those legs back, high plank here, engage that core. Stay here for a breath. And then that next exhale moves us through that chaturanga, so we shift the weight forward. Lower halfway down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, send those hips back. Downward dog. Rooting down here, feel breaths. Breathe into those hamstrings. Check in with that intention. And then an inhale, we're gonna inhale that right leg to the sky. Bending the leg, opening the hip, stack that right hip over the left, keep those shoulders squared at center, don't let the whole body twist over here. Steady breath. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, knee to nose, engage the core as we bring the knee between the hands, release the foot. Inhale, arms to the sky, high lunge. Square those hips, pull that left hip forward, right hip back. Breathing here. Knee is right over that ankle, nice alignment. Steady breath. We're going to build up a little heat here. One more inhale here. And on the exhale, we're gonna exhale the hands back. We're gonna come into a thunderbolt. So that chest comes forward, 45 degree angle here, breathing here. Core is engaged. One more inhale here. And then this next inhale, inhales the arms back in front of us. Keep that ankle of the upper body. One breath here. You've got this. One more inhale. And we're going to open that back leg into a variation here of a side angle. So rotate the hip open. Reach those hands forward. Stay steady. One more breath. Inhale, we're gonna reverse here. So that right hand's gonna come over the body, extending behind us, breathing to the side body. Inhale, warrior two. And then that next inhale comes back to high lunge at the front of the mat. Rotate that back foot. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, release the palms down. Send that right leg back, moving through vinyasa. Chaturanga here. Inhale, lift the heart high. Upper facing dog. Exhale, send those hips back. Downward dog. Press that mat away. Lengthen the spine. Slow that breath down if it's sped up on you. Steady breath.
One more breath here. And then we're gonna inhale that left leg to the sky. Bend that knee, open the hip. <clears throat> Stack those hips, keep those hands rooted at center. Don't twist the upper body. And then inhale, straightening the leg. Exhale, slow and controlled, engage that core as we bring the knee forward, releasing the foot between the hands. In your arms to the sky, high lunge. Pull that left hip back, right hip forward, square those hips. Breathing here, you know what we're about to do. A few breaths here before we bring more movement. Check in with that intention, make sure that we carry it through these powerful poses that we're bringing into the body. And focus on the breath, not the sensations, not the mind that tells us we need to pull out. We are steady and we are strong and we are capable of anything. Exhale, extend the hands behind you, come into that thunderbolt, pull the heart forward. Inhale, arms to the sky again, keeping that angle in the chest. One more breath. Exhale, rotate that right heel down. Open that hip, those, the whole body to the side here. Variation. One more breath. Inhale, reverse that warrior. Inhale, warrior two. And then that next inhale, back to face forward, high lunge. Exhale, release the hands down, send that left leg back to meet the right. Move through your chaturanga or a child's pose or a downward dog, whatever feels right for you. And when we get to that downward dog, release those knees wide, bring those big toes to touch, set those hips back. Child pose a few breaths here. Slow the breath down if it's sped up. One more breath. And then we're going to inhale that weight forward, tuck those toes back to that upward face or that downward facing dog here. Pressing the hands into the mat, lengthening that spine. Now we're going to build a little more heat. <clears throat> So bring those forearms down to the mat, coming into a dolphin pose here. Stack those shoulders right over those elbows because we're going to move through a few poses with this upper body staying the same. Walk those feet forward. You can stay in a dolphin and if you have anything else in your practice or if you want to play with kicking one leg up and then the other. Or just stay in that dolphin, whatever feels right for you. One more breath. Stay here. And then we're going to walk those feet back, back and we're going to come into a forearm plank. So bring that booty down, engage that core. Check in with that intention. As we bring intensity into the body, into our lives, we often leave that intention behind. One more breath, you've got this. And then we're gonna lower the legs onto the earth, release those feet, lift the heart through in the Sphinx pose here. Really engage those muscles in the back. 
pull that heart through. Slow the breath down if it's fed up on you. Breathing here. This is a beautiful back bend. Two more breaths. One more. That exhale releases the chest down. Walk those hands back underneath the shoulders. We're going to press back up into that high plank. Shift the weight back, downward facing dog. Ground down here. We're going to be here for a few breaths. Press those hands into the mat. Lengthen that spine. Open those shoulders. Inhale, lift those sit bones to the sky. Exhale, extend the calves to the earth. Nice and engaged. Steady breath. Gaze the face forward, walk those feet towards the hands at the front of the mat. <clears throat> Release into that forward fold, gentle bend in the knees, let everything go. Any variation you want with those arms. Or if you want to move into those hamstrings a little more, you can kind of clasp in the back of those legs and those calves, pull in a little deeper. But whatever feels right for you. And then release the hands back towards the earth. <clears throat> Inhale, halfway lift, extend through the crown. Exhale, release. <clears throat> Inhale, rise all the way up, arms are wide. Exhale, gentle back extension, shift the hips forward. Inhale, center. Exhale, close the eyes, bring the hands together as we pull them down towards the heart. Take your time here. Feel into those sensations, feel into that energy moving in your body. When those hands return to heart center, re-embody your intention. Choose again who you are and how you show up. One more breath. And next exhale, releases the hands to our side. We're going to shift the weight onto that right foot here. <clears throat> and we're going to move into an akapada. So as we shift the weight to the right, on an inhale, we'll inhale arms to the sky. And we're going to inhale, lift that left leg, bending the knee, flexing the foot. And we want this knee in line with the hip here. Steady breath as we root down in that standing leg. Pinkies are facing forward as we rotate those shoulders open. Steady breath. That next exhale opens these arms into goddess arms. Roll those shoulders back. Pull that beautiful heart through. You can stay here or move into a dance of Shiva. So on an exhale, we're going to twist to the left. Keep the hips at center. We're not rotating the lower body, just the upper body. 
Steady breath, you've got this. Focus on the breath, nothing else. The next inhale, back to Akapada, arms to the sky. Exhale, we're gonna come into a figure four. Pull the hands to the heart, bring the ankle over the knee, come into that squat. The right hip's probably gonna shoot out to the right side, pull it back, keep it central here. Lift that heart up and through, and then you can move as deeply into this as you'd like. That standing leg is probably letting you know how much it loves you. <laughs> so just breathe into it, you've got this. Two more breaths. One more. That next inhale brings us back to Akapata, arms to the sky, take your time. Exhale, release everything down. Shake that standing leg out if you need to. I know I do. <laughs> now we're gonna switch sides. <clears throat> so rooting that left leg down now. And on an inhale, arms to the sky, back to the Akapata on the other side. Bending that right leg, flexing that foot. Rotate those pinkies towards center. Steady breath as we ground into that standing leg. One more inhale. Exhale, goddess arms here. Roll the shoulders back, pull that heart through. We can stay here or we can move into that dance of Shiva, but keep those hips central. We're just rotating the spine. Over towards the right, over that bent knee. Keep that knee lifted. Steady breath. Re-embody that intention. One more breath here. Inhale back to center, arms are high, echo pata. Exhale, figure four, ankle over knee, hands to the heart. Square those hips, a few breaths. Steady and strong. One more breath. And then inhale back to Akapata. Take your time. Exhale, release. Let it all go. Shake that leg out. I can't actually see you guys, but I'm sure you did a beautiful job. <laughs> and then we're gonna come back to that mountain pose. So those feet are hip width distance. Let's bring palms to the side, palms are facing out. Roll the shoulders back, gentle bend in the knees. Gentle tuck in the pelvis, the tailbone, so this is nice and central here. Little tuck in the chin, so the back of the neck is extending. And then lifting up all the way through the spine to the crown of the head. Close the eyes. A few breaths here, fully engaged in our mountain pose. We are the mountain. We are powerful. We are grounded. We are strong. We are capable of handling anything that life brings us. Breathe into your strength. Breathe into your connection to the earth below. Breathe into the truth of who you are. One 
One more breath. And then that next inhale, inhales, arms to the sky. Exhale, swan dive forward, lead with that beautiful heart. Inhale, halfway lift, extend out the ground. Exhale, release, ground those hands, send those legs back, high plank. And then move through your vinyasa, shift the weight forward, lower halfway down. Inhale, upward dog, keep the thighs off the mat here. Stay for the exhale if it feels good. One more breath. And then send it all back, downward facing dog. Ground those hands, press the mat away. Engage those legs, two breaths here. And we're going to move back into that same little flow here. So we're going to bring the forearms to the mat, coming into that dolphin pose. Stack those shoulders over the elbows here. Walking those feet forward, shifting that weight forward. We want as much weight in the shoulders and the arms here as possible. So those feet can almost just lift off of the earth. You can play with some balance or you can just stay in that dolphin with whatever is in your practice. Embrace the shakes. One more breath. And then walk those feet back. Forearm plank. Bring that booty down. Engage the core. Two breaths. Exhale, release that lower body, release the feet. Inhale, lift the heart up and through, come into that sphinx pose here. Steady breath. Slow it down if it's sped up on you. And we're going to take that right elbow and we're going to walk it just a little bit more towards central. And we're going to shift that weight over to that right side. Bending that left leg and we're going to reach back for that foot. Coming into a nice stretch here. Breathing here. One more breath. Releasing that leg. Rooting that left arm back down here, steady and strong. Subtly shift that weight over and then we're going to bend that right leg, reaching that right arm back. One more breath. Exhale, release. Bring those hands back to the mat, lowering that chest down, bring those palms under the shoulders, pressing up into that high plank, shifting back downward dog. Press that mat away, lengthen that spine, breathing here. Now you can stay like this, or if you want to add a little bit of a balance challenge and a twist here, we're going to take this right hand, and some people like to move the left hand a little more central, feel into your body, but we're going to bring the right hand over to that left ankle, and we're going to open up underneath the body, or you can stay where you are. One more breath. Release that hand. 
Root the weight in the right side and then bring that left hand to the left ankle. One more inhale. Exhale, release. Inhale, left leg to the sky. We're going to come into a pigeon. So bring that knee over by that left, ain't that left wrist. That foot up by the right side, walking that back leg out, releasing the toes. Before we move into a sleeping pigeon, I want you to try to square those hips. So try to pull the left hip back, right hip forward here. Try to get as neutral as you can with those hips. And then press the weight back a little bit so we feel it in the psoas, that front of the right hip. A few breaths, nice and lifted first. And then on that exhale, we can move into that sleeping pigeon. Bring the forearms to the earth or out wide, depending how those hips are. Plug my computer. Breathing here. Really let go into this pose. Two more breaths here. And then we're going to make our way back up, taking our time. Press those palms into the mat here, tucking the back toes. Inhale into that one legged dog. Open that hip. And then releasing that leg down. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, bring that leg forward, coming into that pigeon on the other side. Walking that back leg out. Doing our best to try to square those hips. Pull that left hip forward, right hip back. Then we're going to press into the mat as we lift up and stretch the front of that hip, that psoas muscle here. A few breaths. And then slowly releasing down. And really settling in here.
a few more breaths. One more. And then we're going to press our way back up. Root those palms down, tuck those back toes. Lift that right leg to the sky, open that hip. And releasing it down. Last downward facing dog, two breaths here. Press into the mat, lengthen the spine. Lift those sit bones towards the sky and extend those calves to the earth. Fully engaged, two breaths. And then releasing the knees to the mat. <clears throat> Shifting back and we're going to extend those legs out long in front of us. Remove that excess flesh from the sit bones. Really root down into Mother Earth below. Flex those feet. Toes are pointed up towards the sky. And you lift the spine nice and tall and those arms up to the sky. Exhale, lead with the heart as we fold forward. Belly touches first, then chest, then head. We don't want to round the spine. We've been working so hard to straighten and lengthen it. And then breathing here into those hamstrings, a few breaths. And as the body creates space, move into the space you're creating. Check in with that intention. Re-embody it if it's up. One more breath. And then engage the core. Use that core to lift back up on an inhale. From the feet to the mat, we're going to come right back down onto our backs. Hug those knees into the chest. Gentle rock side to side, releasing the spine. And then we're going to extend that left leg long. Bring the right toes to touch for just a second so we can shift our hips about an inch to the right. Bring that right knee back into the chest, left hand on the outside of that leg as we bring it across the body into that supine twist. Really root that right shoulder blade down. That's more important than the twist here that's going to support the spine. So if you need to come out of the twist a little bit to root the shoulder, I want you to do that. And then that gaze can come over the right shoulder. Let everything go here for a few breaths. One more breath. And then engage the core as we inhale that knee back up to center, hugging it into the chest. Extending out long, and then let's shift the hip about two inches now to the left. Bring that left knee up into the chest, hug it in tight. 
And then right hand on the outside of that leg as we bring it across the body, supine twist. Extend that left arm long, root that shoulder blade, and really settle in here for a few breaths. You can turn the gaze over the left shoulder if it feels right. And then just let everything go. Two more breaths here. And then inhale, lifting back up to center. Square those hips on the mat, hug both knees into the chest, give yourself a great big hug. You worked hard this morning. And then extending those legs out long as we move into our final resting pose, Shavasana. Let those hips open, those feet fall out wide. Tuck those shoulder blades under the body, palms are facing up. And let everything go. Releasing the breath. Releasing all of the muscles in the body. Starting at those feet. Moving up those legs. Past the groin, the abdomen, the side body. Releasing across the chest, the shoulders, all the way down those arms to the fingertips. Releasing all the muscles in the neck, the jaw, the cheeks, around the eyes, the forehead, and down the scalp. Just let everything go, knowing that you are held, you are supported, and you are loved in this moment and all of the moments to come. Let go into that knowing.
beginning to deepen that breath. Bringing some gentle movement to the fingers and the toes. The ankles and the wrists. And when you feel ready, extending those arms above the head, a full body stretch, fingertips to toes. The deepest, fullest stretch that you've taken all day. And then we're gonna roll onto our right side today. The right side is our masculine side. It is connected to the sun energy. It is our power, it is our strength, it is our determination. But the masculine side is also the side from which we give. It is also the side from which we release. So just take a few breaths now before we finish our practice to release anything that is not serving you. Any thoughts, emotions, beliefs. Feel the support of Mother Earth below you. Feel her love, feel her connection. And release all of that into her to be transmuted for our brothers and sisters on this planet. Just let it go. And as you do this, feel yourself becoming lighter, becoming freer, and returning to that unique, beautiful being that you are. And when you feel complete, keep those eyes closed down as you make your way back slowly to that comfortable seat that you started in. Returning to that nice tall spine, those shoulders roll down that back, that heart is open, that love is flowing freely in and out. And on an inhale, let's inhale those hands to heart center. Re-embody your intention one more time so that you may carry it with you as you, as you leave your mat this morning or this afternoon or evening, wherever you are. Remember that this is the truth of who you are. It is always your choice. You are the creator. You get to create your life. And very gently bowing down to that God being within you, within all things. Remember who you are. We need you. Returning to center. And with our hands at a place of balance in front of our hearts, inhaling those hands to your third eye center. Bringing balance to your point of clarity. And on an exhale, the hands come to the lips. Bringing balance to your words and balance to your truth. And then bring those hands down to the heart. Bringing balance to your love 
and balance to your heart. And from this place of balance within me, I recognize, honor, and appreciate the teacher, the light, the humanity, and the divine within each of you and all beings. Namaste.